Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 2nd of October and of course I'm here as always to give you a daily dose of the latest gaming news. Today I'm bringing you some more news concerning GTA Online. As you might have expected, it's having quite a few problems as everyone rushed to play the brand new online mode just yesterday. Now Rockstar has issued an official statement telling its fans that it's working around the clock to address issues affecting GTA Online, which is of course the very, very much awaited G uh, multiplayer component. Now ahead of the launch yesterday, Rockstar did ask customers for patience and predicted the service would have teething problems and analysts do estimate the game has already been bought by 15 million people globally and the online portion of the game sit launched simultaneously worldwide leading to as you might expect a rather large demand on the game's servers and several problems resulting from that fact now rockstar has said on its official newswire quote we are continuing to look into these issues and we are working around the clock on resolving them as quickly as possible this includes close monitoring of our support systems, forums, social media and in-game data to measure traffic along with community sentiment to ensure ongoing improvements to stability stability, excuse me. Now they have also listed a full blown list of all the issues currently known with GTA Online. Um, which is a, a list of nine issues. However, this has yet to acknowledge some claims from users that their single player save file has been deleted since going online. Now, hopefully they will issue an official statement about that very, very soon. However, I do have the full list that they released uh, concerning the known issues with GTA Online. And we've got occasional Rockstar Cloud servers unavailable error message, freezing sometimes while loading into first race in GTA Online with waiting for other players on the screen, intermittent failed to host a GTA Online session error messages, race corona star area marker occasionally not showing up for the first race, error saying timed out when matchmaking for a compatible GTA Online session to join, occasional errors about jobs failing to start or load, general issues with the social club site and social club features, MISC network and server related error messages, disconnections or cloud server errors. Errors saying mission failed as soon as the mission begins during a session. So there you have it. As expected, GTA Online is not having the best time since it came out. Now, I don't think anyone expected the online mode for GTA to have the smoothest of launches considering the huge demand for that game. However, I don't think anyone expected problems of quite this magnitude. Um, I've had several comments both on the Facebook uh, on the official RGT Facebook at facebook.com forward slash redgamingtech my own personal one and of course on the YouTube channel or people just basically unable to even connect at all so it's actually probably for the best that I didn't even attempt to get on there yesterday to actually cover the online mode for your guys perusal as I probably would not have had much luck on the matter. So it does seem like a small oversight from Rockstar. Yes, teething problems are to be expected. I'm not going to disagree with you. We probably would still be talking about GTA Online problems right now, regardless of what happened. However, they knew they they have the the amount of games sold. They have a I probably have a number or a list or something sitting there going, right, we've, we sold this many copies in this many regions. Not everyone is going to be playing the online mode, but a large percentage is because, well, it's basically an MMO, essentially. Not exactly, but pretty close to it. And it's the first time we've attempted something like this. It's going to be really popular. Even if people only try it on the launch day and never try it again, the launch day is going to be key. We need to make sure we've got enough servers in each region based on the amount of copies sold in that region. Surely that's what happened and maybe they did do that, they probably did do that, but it seems like they underestimated the amount of people that would be joining as a lot of these issues seem to stem from basically too many people trying to get online at the same time. Well, hopefully they'll get this sorted soon, given that this is Rockstar, I would imagine that we won't be waiting too long for these problems to be solved and I think once they're fixed it'll be pretty damn awesome and it's still going to be GTA Online. I don't think anyone's really going to be too put off from playing it. It's frustrating, sure, but I'm sure we'll all be fine just to wait a couple of days maximum for Rockstar to fix the issue. Anyway, that is me done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.